The other thing about Pokemon is it makes me feel like a pedophile. Because there's no doubt about it. May, Dawn, Misty, they're all cute girls. But they're also young as shit. Hello everyone. This is part 9 of Uncharted Drake's Fortune. It's late. I'm tired. I'm also cold, but I got that space heater running in the background right now. Well, for you it's in the background. For me it's propped up, my, uh, propped up on my desk right behind my feet. And my feet are mere inches away from the very grill of the space heater, so... A nice blast of warm air is hitting me, and it it feels it feels great. But we're at this puzzle part, like I mentioned in the last part, and I already looked it up to figure out for sure that I'm gonna do this like first go, so I don't fuck it up. Because I usually do stuff like that, and yeah, you gotta bear with me. I mean, the damn thing is, I looked up a text guide first, and even the text guide didn't make a whole lot of sense to me. Because I'm that retarded. But when you look at it in the book, it says like, oh, you gotta use the compass on the ground as a reference for these statues. And then you can look in the book and see which way they have to go. But it really doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me because their default position appears to be in the position that they're in. I don't know, that's just what I, how I was looking at it, but we should get it right here. Uh, and it looks like we didn't, so I did something wrong already. what I do wrong? Maybe I swapped the bull by accident? The bull's supposed to be this way, and then the lion dude's supposed to be the other way? Why do you keep doing that? There we go. Okay, we got it. We got it in a mere, what, two minutes or so? That's not bad. Now that I figured it out, we can talk about stuff. That's what we want to talk about. Let me know. I think we're about to run into actually a lot of game dialogue because all three of us are here right now. And these two are going to be talking. All three of us are going to be talking because we're reunited. Uh, we went through a lot of cutscenes in the last part discussing the fact that Sully's okay, he didn't die, this looks he was just, uh, keeping the pirate dudes and missionaries and everything, like, he was, he kept sending them on false, like, treasure hunts until Nate showed up and actually saved him, so, and now he's here, and I don't know what I'm supposed to do right now. Now I do. I'm supposed to open a passageway, right? No? The inverted torch leads to the land of the dead. I don't have any audio, so I can't pick up on any audio cues or listen to the dialogue properly. That should be it. Oh, yep, it is. Wow. This looks promising. Here, let me see that? Yeah. Okay. You two sit tight. I'm gonna check things out. Whoa, wait, no. You're not going out there alone. Yeah, Roman's men are swarming all over this place. Yeah, and one person will make a lot less noise than three. Come on, I'll be fine. And you guys will be safe here. They don't even know about this room. Okay, take this with you. Leave it on channel 13. They don't use that one. And keep us posted. All right, you got it. Close this thing back up. Yeah. Nate, be careful. <laughs> Come on. I always am. Ah! I did not see that! <laughs> oh, man, that's fucking funny. I did not remember that part. That was funny as dicks. Okay. Land of the 
Oh man, I can't believe I keep saying as dicks. I cannot believe I picked that up from Rooster Teeth. Jesus Christ. So, something weird happened to me the other night. And this is probably like, never happened to me. Probably. It, it definitely has never happened to me. But it's like, it was an, it was an internet thing. Which, usually you think, okay, tons of internet things happen. What could possibly have happened to you? That hasn't happened before. It's a really weird scenario. Aren't they already in here? Yeah, because there's like weapons and stuff. Um. Okay, don't go over that ledge, I guess. Well, I mean, you did go over it, you died, but I thought he was gonna like shimmy over it or something. That is what he's, he's supposed to shimmy over it, isn't he? Oh, okay. Well, I guess, okay, that works. Anyway, I... So basically, I was on Instagram, just looking at photos and shit. And I saw a picture of Chanel West Coast. West Coast. With, um... She, she Instagrammed a picture of her with Brooks Whelan on the set of Ridiculousness. This was unbelievably shocking to me for a few reasons. Now, Brooks Whelan is, well, and this is the, the part that's, like, the shocking part. So, apparently, he is a comedian, and he has a spire, like, a new found television career. Now, what, what, here's the thing. What's shocking is, I joined Vine, the six-second video app on, you know, iPhone and Android, and Twitter owns it. Um, I joined that, like, right when it came out. Uh, I, li I like the fact that I was an early adopter to Vine. So, I was using it, uh... I got it right when it came out. And following a few, like, the most popular Viners back then. When it was just, like, you know... Flowering and blossoming. Adam Goldberg, Will Sasso. Um, and one of them was Brooks Whelan. And... The thing is... Brooks was just, like, a regular dude. Like... He made all these Vines about, like his job where he was a biomedical engineer he was like he like he was like a scientist basically and he would post all these funny vines just about you know just like dumb shit he had this like running joke where one of his co-workers craig like he didn't like craig so every time he'd just be like fuck you craig or or like god damn it craig i hate you and he just make these you know like funny whatever vines but the thing is like it was it's so obvious or at least it appeared so obvious like oh he's just some guy like he got slightly popular on vine you know a few people would always comment on his stuff, or a lot of people would like his stuff, so, you know, you just, like, and because the service is so new, that even though he's a regular guy, he was able to easily get a lot of followers, and, like, you know, just be a regular dude, but he has followers, and I followed him, you know, I liked him, he was, I thought he was a, oh, Jesus, Murphy Jones, I, I, I thought he was, like, a really funny guy, but, like, it appeared so obvious he was just some... He was just some regular dude, right, with, uh, some regular dude with a regular job, but he just was popular on the internet. Like, a lot of people are. Hell, I would consider myself slightly popular. Because, like, on, Vi on Vine, he only has, like, I think 12,000 followers on Vine, which is not a lot on Vine. And, like, before, you know, like, six months ago, he only had, like, 6,000 followers, I think, or something like that. Uh, he doesn't even really post on Vine anymore, that's the thing. Like, he kind of, like, went away. So I was like, oh, whatever. Like, he's probably just doesn't give a shit. And, uh... So, the, it says, so that's the shocking part is... I'm on Instagram... And I see a fucking picture of what I thought was just some regular man... On the fucking television set of Ridiculousness with Chanel West Coast. I'm like, what the fuck? I saw it and I was, bl I was shocked. I was like, what the fuck is going on? Why the hell is Brooks Whelan on the set of Ridiculousness with Chanel West Coast... And she even posted it. Like, she, like, tagged him and everything. She's like, oh, yeah, I'm on the set with, uh, Brooks Whelan. I'm like, what the fuck? I thought this was just some scientist, dude. What the hell is going on? So then I Google Brooks Whelan, thinking, like, okay, well, fucking clearly he's got to be somebody. And he is. So I guess, so he, so then I, I spent, the, like, an hour. This is incredibly weird, but that's what you do when you're, like, up at night late doing nothing. I spent, like, an hour researching everything about what happened. And I was kind of, like, it was, like, justified for me, like, the shockingness. Because 
he was he did like comedy for years, I guess, in his hometown. But he got a degree in biomedical engineering or whatever the fuck, and then moved to Los Angeles when he was young, and got the job, his first bio, his first like job with his degree, and as he was. Uh, doing that job, he was doing stand-up comedy at night, like, trying to make a career. So, he never, like, made that apparent. He never linked to anything, like, any shows that he did, or, like, hey, come see me at the Laugh Factory or whatever. He never linked to any of that shit. So, I was completely oblivious, oblivious to the fact that this guy was trying to make a comedy career. And then he got... And then, here's the thing, this is why it all adds up. Then he posted a Vine, like, a very long time ago, obviously... But it gave me context. He posted a vine saying, like, oh, yeah, I'm leaving my job or whatever as a scientist. And that's when his vine, he started to make, like, he, he stopped making a lot of vines because a lot of his vines did stem from his job. So then he stopped, you know, what, making vines or whatever, and I was like, okay, well, I guess that's that. Um, and then, yeah, and so but that's the thing. He left his job, or I think he got fired from his job, actually, but he landed a job at Saturday Saturday Night Live. He was a regular character on Saturday Saturday Night Live, apparently, for one season, then he got fired off of it. But I wouldn't have even known about this because I don't watch television anymore. Two bells resound in perfect harmony. Oh, I know what I'm supposed to do. Aren't I supposed to, like, shoot them? Yeah, you're supposed to like shoot him at the same time or whatever. Nice, I actually got that one. Wow, I'm shocked. Yeah, that's like the I know these bells are like making noise, like doom do doom do doom doom do. No, we all I'm thinking of the, the chimes from Jack Two. We were in like a challenge room and Yeah. I'll get to that when we get to that. <laughs> yeah, I was like fucking I was blown away. I was like, what the hell is going on? I was like, why the fuck is Brooks Whelan with Chanel West Coast? Yeah, I, I just was, I was totally oblivious to this. I did not know he was a Saturday Night Live, like, actual, like, cast member for a season. I didn't know he did comedy. So when I found all this shit out, I started, like, looking at everything, and then I started watching his comedy, and I was like, holy fucking shit, I did not know fucking any of this. That was just, and it was just weird. That's, that's my story. <laughs> it's not really a great story, and it's kind of shocking that I spent, what, close to ten minutes talking about it, but... It was, that was just really weird to me. I was like, bl I was like, just shocked. I was like, what the hell is going on? Kind of sucks though, because he got fired from fucking Saturday Night Live. That's like a dream come true. And he, I guess he tweeted about it too. Like he tweeted when he f got fired. He said, "Fired from New York at Saturday Night," and he was like doing interviews, being pretty open about it. I'm like, I was, I just, I'm, I'm still kind of like in awe. Like for a year. Because Vine's not that old, but for the year that he, like, was really active on Vine, the first year of Vine, I was like, this dude's awesome. This dude's hilarious. Like, I wish more people followed him or whatever. Like, he's a really funny dude. Which makes sense, because he's a comedian, I guess. That 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 part adds up, too. Yeah, but I guess, I guess he's been doing comedy for years as, in his hometown. I was like, what? Oh, I'm not, like plugging, him, like, plugging him or anything. These are really the things I'm talking about. These are really things I'm shocked about, and these are really things that are going on in my life. This is completely unacceptable. What do you expect from me, Roman? My men are getting massacred. <laughs> I find it hard to believe that one man could wipe out your entire crew. Ugh. Not just drink, goddammit! I'm telling you, this island is cursed! Enough. Take your sorry mob and go. Wait, you can't cut me loose. You owe me a share of the gold! Your share, Eddie, was contingent upon you doing what I required. You assured me that Drake was captured and the island secure. Oh, this is bullshit, Roman, and you know it! We're done here, Mr. Roger. I die, camel! <laughs> My dear Jello! Jillian! Remind me again why you employed that superstitious idiot? You wanted someone cheap. <laughs> well, you get what you pay for, I suppose. And what about you, Navarro? 
Are you worth what I'm paying you? The vault's here. I'm sure of it. If Sullivan can be trusted... Which he can't. Look, he knows we'll kill him if he's lying. Don't be stupid. He knows we'll kill him once we find the treasure. He has no incentive to tell the truth. Really, Navarro, sometimes I think you left your brains back in that slum where I found you. I just need a little more time. Chasing this treasure of yours is proving to be more trouble than it's probably worth. I assure you, El Dorado is worth more than you can possibly imagine. <laughs> it had better be. Oh, shit. <coughs> it's getting real, man. We're in, like, the catacombs and everything, like, so... Shit's really about to go down, actually. Enough of my really dumb stories, like, it is, it is about to go down. Also, which way am I going? I feel like I just... Then I just... Yeah. I just came this way, so I gotta go this way. We're about to see some shit, man. I don't know if it... Would it be this part, though? Oh, I think it might. Let me pull out my shoddy. For that close quarters combat, though. Because I'm not trying to have no bullshit. Oh, nope, I'm back outside. Fifteen on the trail of the treasure. Isn't there f 24 chapters in the first Uncharted? I'm saying this as if somebody's going to immediately reply to me. Is this the graveyard I was referring to earlier? Also, I'm pretty sure I'm not supposed to go this way, or am I? Wow, these textures. Wow. Really? Really, Drake, you don't got hops? Or I'm, I'm supposed to go around, maybe? No. <coughs> I'm sorry, I'm coughing. I'm dying. Well, there was something all the way over here I could go to. Oh, so there's a rope right there. All sorts of shit. There's clearly a huge path right here that I didn't go down, so... Oh, it's a gate. So I guess I was going the right way, huh? Yeah, I was going the right way. I just don't know where to start. Where do you start climbing and shit? Because I really... I'm not, I'm not seeing it. I feel like I'm about to cough my- there we go. I feel like I'm about to cough my brains out. What little- what little brain I have left, at least. <laughs> Tell you, I've been watching more- I've been watching- I've been going back and watching the, um... And this happens every time I get- I play new Pokemon games, but I'm going back and watching the anime. And, uh... I, see, the, with the Pokemon anime, I've been over this a few times. I think it would be so awesome if they made it more adult-centric. <laughs> Not, like, I mean, more, like, you know, like, yeah, I've been, I've been over this. But, like, I want to see more realism. I want to see more, less, like, facepalm shit that is, like, so cringeworthy in the anime. That's Because it, cause it's clearly, like, really made for, like, really young children, but... The one thing I like about it, actually, is just seeing Pokemon, like, move and be animated. And, like, despite the fact that the show is cringeworthy, and, like, it, it makes you think, like, oh, man, a real show would be cooler. But you, you just watch it, and it still makes you, makes you, like, love the Pokemon world, you know? Like, it makes it believable. I, lo I love Pokemon way too much, dude. I think, really, I think people really are undermining that about me. Like that, I'm not lying when I say that's one of my top three favorite franchises of all time. Like at the end of Pokemon X, at the end of Pokemon X and Y, I cried. And if you finish those games, and you're probably wondering like, what, what the fuck are you talking about? You cried at the end of Pokemon. If you know what happens at the end of that game, there's a certain scene that plays out, and it's unbelievably heartwarming, like unbelievably heartwarming. And I just like. I, I love, I just fucking love Pokemon, like, I, I love the world, I love the lore, I love everything about it, and, 
you know, it also makes sense for me, at least, because I'm an animal person. Like, I love animals in real life. Like, I love everything. There's no animal I dislike. Like, if you got a snake, that's cool, man. I'll fucking look at your snake and talk to it and shit. Like, if you got a cat, dog, like, you know how people say, like, oh, a cat, a dog person. I'm, I'm a both person, dude. I'm an everything person. I would love to have a pet duck, a pet pig, uh, sugar gliders, rodents, uh, guinea pigs. Uh, you know, I got pet rats right now. I got tons of fish. Like, I, I, I love animals. And that's why, that's the aspect of Pokemon I like, is that they're companions to you, you know? But they're just companions you battle. So, uh... Yeah, I was, I, I've been watching more of the Pokemon anime and just enjoying the fact that I can watch animated Pokemon. Even though the, the other side of that show is that it will just generally sucks because it's just... You know, it's it's also... The first season is really annoying to watch. Like, it's it's totally nostalgic because, like, I was, like, every other kid. Like, I had tons of tons of Pokemon VHSs, and you love when that opening sequence starts with Mewtwo. Like, it totally hits you in the feels. I mean, I agree, I agree there. But nowadays, that it's hard to watch season one because it's so fucking annoying in terms of plot with Team Rocket. And I'm not even lying to you. Like, that... That, at least for me, always bugs me when I watch it in modern times now. It's like, every episode, they get in the way. Like, I just want to see some plot advancement. I want to see him go to the gym. I want to see him catch something new. I want to see him evolve his Pokemon. I want to see him actually advance the story. They're all, every, nearly every episode, they just, they show up and they gotta, you know, they gotta hinder the process. It's like, okay, keep him in every so often, like, because Team Rocket is a part of the Pokemon universe. And all the other teams, like Team Aqua, Magma, Plasma, whatever. But Jesus Christ. They gotta lay off. And the whole talking meow thing, like, I don't like that either. And the, uh, it's, it's, I don't like it because it, 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 it's not part of the real Pokemon lore, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's, that's just something they added into the television show. You know, just to add more characters and shit and make it, you know, fun and ritzy or whatever the fuck, you know? But it's whatever. Another thing about Pokemon is... It makes me feel like a pedophile. Because there's no doubt about it. May, Dawn, Misty... They're all cute girls. But they're also young as shit. They're like 12 and 13. Now you shouldn't be sending kids out there... That are that young. With Pokemon. And responsibilities. And also dangerous people. But, they cuties. Now, when they're 18, they can hit me up. But the problem is they're never going to be 18, because they're not real. Well, I guess they could be 18, but rather, they'll never be real. And I think that's the root of the problem here. Because I would love for them to be 18. In real. Because I'd ask them out. I wonder if they'd say yes. They should. I'd be like, listen, I'm going to... Oh, shit. Be like, listen, I'm gonna take you out. I got a, I got a Snorlax we can lay on, or you know, I got, I got, I got a Lapras we can maybe go sailing for a little bit. Maybe, maybe, maybe battle or two, you know. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll, sh oh shit, I died again. Maybe show you something you don't know. Maybe you'll show me something you, you, you don't know. You know, we'll just have a, let's have a candlelit dinner. Come on, like I'll, 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 I'll get my, I'll go to the PC box and. Get my chandelier and let him sit on, sit sit over the uh, the dinner, and then we can just have ourselves a little uh little dinner, a little nice little dinner there. Out of all of them, I'd have to say May. I like May the most. I'm sorry, I'm such a pedophile. This is this is creepy. You know, most people get away with having anime crushes with adult anime people. Although I don't think that necessarily justifies me liking the children. They don't look like children though, man. That's so misleading. Can't be doing that to us. That's like, uh... Fucking Chris Hansen, man. Dateline. What were you doing here exactly? Oh, I was just... Just came over to my neighbor's house. Just want to introduce myself to my new neighbor... My new neighbor, May. Oh, yeah. And... Who's May? Well, I just moved. I just moved in. So, you know, I'm 
Mom said I should go meet the neighbors, so I just came up. Oh. What you, What were you going to do with me? It's just... I don't know. It was maybe battle or something. Ba and what does battle mean? N nothing. I just, I'm just... I'm going to go. Wait, I think you need to hear something first. I'm Chris Hansen with Hoenn NBC. <laughs> we're doing a story on older gentlemen that randomly walk into their neighbors' houses to try and have sex with underage girls. It's like, listen, dude, I was just trying to introduce myself. I don't have many friends. I just moved in. I don't even have a Pokemon. Where's Professor Birch? Where's, where's Professor... Pro I can't even say his name. Professor Birch. Because I need to see this guy. Whoop. Yeah, I'm actually getting shit done while talking. Although, now that I've said it, I've probably jinxed it. Huh. Huh is right. I don't know where to go. Wait, don't I go out one of these windows? Well, hello there. You gotta be kidding. Hey, Sully. I'm here. Remember Roman and Navarro? That red herring you sent them on to get them out of the way? Yeah? Well, they're sitting right on top of the treasure vault. Oh, of all the goddamn luck. Look, I'm gonna need a diversion to get them out of there. You got it, kid. One diversion. Coming right up. And Sully. Yeah? Once they're gone, meet me in the mausoleum. But come through the catacombs. It's safer that way. Gotcha. Now I've just gotta get past all these goons without getting noticed. <coughs> There's no way I'm going to be able to pull this off. I just coughed again. I'm coughing way too much. Down one. Over. 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 Wait, I don't have to stealth this. Can I just fucking murder everybody? Yeah, now, yeah, here's the graveyard. I mean, they're just now realizing Sully escaped. Yeah look, at, yeah, look at all these weapons. I'm not gonna s sneak by them. I'm about to fucking murder everybody here. Tan shoes with pink shoelaces and a... Something vest. She's got, he's got tan shoes with pink shoelaces and a... <laughs> I like the song yet, I don't I don't know the lyrics to any of it. Come on, don't die. Dude, somebody really keeps fucking me up. Who's this fucking guy? Could you not though? As you can see, this is another game where I have once again proven my insane accuracy in video games. I've got about... This isn't the best accuracy though. I'd say I'm sitting at about 90, 98%. So not quite 99, but... I'm making every shot count here. As you can clearly see. So... Good news there, right? Oh yes, the sass. Now I can tell people I got sass and I know how to use it. Oh, yes. Oh, this is satisfying. Oh, baby. Wait, I still want that. I have four shots left with it. Give me a reason to use it. Or not. I'm just going to go in. I'm, I'm just going to walk in. Wow, you, hey, where, you, where'd you guys come from? I knew you could do it, kid. So what's next? I don't know. I'm figuring it out as this I This is go. it. This is definitely the right place, though. Oh, shit, another puzzle. Wait a second. I think this part's easy, though. Something to do with these symbols. You just gotta, like, rotate them. Yeah, the dire yeah, I don't even need anything for this. You just, like, keep it in the direction they're in. I think. Oh, 
I'm yeah, the clam. Really Where's the clam? Place. The clam needs to be upside down. And then, let's see. Well, that snake is sideways as fuck right now, so. And then we got the crown. Sure we're in the right place. <coughs> which looks to be right side up. A drink chat of the chalice or whatever. Which also appears to be right side up with the book. Those arrows, however, need to be the other way. These need to be up. I think that'd be it. Yeah, there we go. Oh, shit. Nothing's happening. There we go. <laughs> Looks like we're in business. Ooh, yeah. Heads up. What do you make of it? I don't know. Could be a dead end. Wait. It looks like there might be a passage this way. Uh-oh. Oh, shit. What the hell's that? Sully, get out of there. Huh? It's a trap! Oh. Sullivan, are you okay? Sully! Yeah, yeah, fine. Still in one piece. Oh. You knocked me on my ass, though. Yeah, well... You better get back to the library. We're gonna have to find another way out of here. Oh, sh there's that chapter start. Sixteen, the treasure vault. It is getting real. I just got an email. All right, everybody. This is part. That was part nine of Uncharted: Drake's Fortune. I'll see you all in part ten. And most importantly, thank you all for watching.